Welcome back to another recap. Let's talk 1000 Pound Sisters season 6 episode 2 and the drama begins. We're obsessed with TLC and all the trashy reality TV. It's, it's a, a recap. recap. It's, it's a recap. recap. It's a recap. So remember all the Slaytons are on their way to see my honey Dr. Smith. They all finally get to the office. They go to the room. Dr. Smith walks into a bunch of Slaytons and he addresses them one by one. Amy goes first and he's like, so what's your goal? And she said she really wants skin removal surgery, period. That's like the only thing she wants. So it's time to weigh in. The last time she saw a doctor, she weighed in at 280 pounds and now she's 44 pounds down at 237 and she's pretty damn impressed. She hasn't really done much. She's like, oh my God, all I had to do was have two kids and get a divorce. <laughs> hey, all you need to lose weight is two toddlers and a divorce. <laughs> so then the doctor goes where do you want to go from here what's your goal weight like how much more weight do you want to lose and amy goes oh no i'm good with the weight i am now i just want skin removal surgery but dr smith is like yeah you do need to lose a little bit more weight before i approve you for skin removal and amy's like how much more and he's like mm, at least 30 more pounds and she's like, oh my God, 30 more pounds. I already lost so much weight. Like I feel them. Like you're working so hard relentlessly to lose all this weight that you've never been able to lose before. And then you still have more to go. So I get the frustration. But his point was he just wanted to get her out of like the obesity or mo morbid obesity category. I think I'm out of the morbid obesity category, by the way. Finally, I'm now just obese. <laughs> I didn't even realize this, but Amy lost 170 pounds since she first started the show. Next is Misty. And ooh, where did Misty go? She's a skinny mini. <laughs> she started at 240 pounds. And right before her surgery, she was 228 pounds. And then after surgery today or the day of the weigh-in, she's 166 pounds. Wow. Also, aside from her weight loss, she's off her diabetes medication. That is incredible. Now, I wonder how long she's been on diabetes medication um, and how like high her A1C was. Because I... Do I want to get into it? No, I don't. Moving on. Next, we have Amanda. Now, before surgery, she was 300 pounds. And she talks about how she's been going through a lot lately. Last week, we talked about how she was very clearly frustrated that she wasn't losing as much weight as quickly as Tammy and Amy were. She feels like mentally and emotionally, she's so exhausted because she had been there for Amy while she was going through her divorce with her two toddlers. Remember last season how Amy had a meltdown, a breakdown every episode and Amanda really was there. Amanda and Tammy to pick up the pieces. She was also there for Tammy after Tammy's husband died and so she feels like she's been there for everybody else except for herself. So she explains this to Dr. Smith but the way she says it is she has a lot of anger. I'm focusing on me. I don't give a damn what anybody else is going through. I've got to worry about me. Right. Now she has a busted knee or ankle. I can't remember <laughs> And she hasn't really been able to exercise. Apparently, she's in so much pain, but soon she's going to get that fixed with surgery. She finally weighs in and she's 268 pounds and she's not really happy about it. Dr. Smith tells her that her goal is 200 pounds. So she has 70 more pounds to go. I can tell Amanda's blaming Amy and I for her not losing enough weight. I don't understand why we're getting blamed because she's her own person. I definitely get that vibe as well. It seems like she's very angry and it's directed towards her sisters. And I don't, I don't think that's fair. Like for 43 years almost, I have worried about my siblings, my siblings' children, everybody else around me. Okay. So I'm doing the things that are good for myself. There's no denying that Amanda was there for her sisters. We saw it all last season. But I do not think it's fair for her to use them as a reason as to why she couldn't lose a weight. I think it's perfectly reasonable to say that she's been very stressed being there for her family. She was basically the glue holding the family together. And due to that stress, she was stress eating and she couldn't focus on herself. Like that makes sense. That's valid. But to be like, I've been focusing on everybody else but me. And so now it's my turn. I haven't had time because of Tammy. I've been there for Tammy. I've been there for Amy. Like that's the energy it's giving. And it's, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know where all this anger is coming from. Hopefully we'll find out 
what her side of the story is. Next is Chris. Now, I don't remember his starting weight, but the last time he saw Dr. Smith was nine months ago, and nine months ago, he was 300 pounds. So he weighs in that day at the appointment at 299 pounds. So he's basically 300 pounds. They both acknowledge that he has been 300 pounds for the past year, and the doctor really wants him to lose 50 more pounds before getting approved for skin removal surgery. At this point, Chris is kind of dumbfounded. He doesn't know what to do. He feels like his lifestyle has completely changed from the past and he's been eating better he's been exercising more and like he just doesn't know what to do next we have tam tam so her highest weight was on the show she was 725 pounds remember when she almost died and uh as of nine months ago her last weigh-in she was down to 420 pounds and in this episode, she weighed in at 303 pounds. Oh my God, she's a skinny queen. She's almost under 300. Holy moly, she's almost in the 200s. Soon she's going to be skinnier than me. <laughs> now imagine losing over 400 pounds and all the excess loose skin that comes with it. Tammy confirms that she has a lot and it's getting in the way of her living a normal lifestyle. Like it's painful. It's always in the way and it's really hindering her self-confidence. As much as Dr. Smith wants to approve her for skin removal surgery, she still needs to lose at least another 100 pounds and she's devastated. Tammy's like, I lost so much damn weight. I've been working so hard. She has been fighting her food temptations every single day day and every single time she gets up and moves her skin is flapping everywhere and it's just in the way of everything and she just wants to get rid of some of that but no dr smith said no we want to get you out of the obesity category morbid obesity category and we still want you to be at a safe weight for you to get skin removal surgery so 100 more pounds to go and she feels defeated so your goal of weight loss would be about another 100 pounds than what you've lost today I just didn't expect to have to lose more weight. I try, you know, I worked so hard to get where I am, and it wasn't good enough. Um, I remember on my 600 pound life, like some of the people were getting skin removal surgery like during their weight loss. So I wonder how that differs. I don't know. Because Tammy's been super discouraged by the news, Amy set up a day where they can just like relax and paint together and get their minds off of things. She checks in on Tam Tam and asks her how she's doing after the appointment. Tammy opens up about how depressed she got. She was like, that was a punch in the gut. I really thought he was going to say yes, but to know that I have a hundred more pounds to go is just like, I don't know how much longer I can go. She even admits that after that appointment, she went home and started binging and purging. I was purposely overeating so I could throw up. Oh my gosh, Tammy. And my mouth dropped. I was like, oh my God, I really, really, really hope Tammy doesn't go down another dangerous road. But fortunately, she said that she snapped out of it and she is not going to go down that road. And Amy tells her how proud of her she is. Kudos, because... The old bitch, Tammy, would not have done that. Then they talk about Amanda and how she was kind of blaming them for her lack of weight loss. I'm not surprised that Amanda blamed me and Amy for her not being successful in her weight loss journey. That's how that bitch rolls. Chris comes over to Amanda's house because Amanda wanted to vent about Tam Tam and apparently Tammy's been saying some really out-of-pocket things to her and since Amanda has hurt her leg, she hasn't heard a word from Tammy. I mean, I know that I've always been there for all of y'all when time comes, but you know, Tammy, she hasn't texted not one time to ask how I was doing. Also, Amanda talks about how she feels like Tammy's been using her sons as her personal assistants to get errands done around the house. Tammy says she loves her nephews, but they're over her house all the time. And they're not just over, they're eating all her food. They're horsing around, breaking things and leaving a huge mess behind for Tam Tam to then clean up. Then Amanda says the nephews are just so excited to see her because this is a brand new aunt. It's a brand new version. They never knew that they could hang out and play with Tam Tam, their Aunt Tammy. And so this is like something completely new to them and they love her and they, they're just so excited to hang out with her. As Tam Tam is venting to Amy, she's like, okay, I just want you to know like I cannot respond to this. I'm here to listen. 
Okay, but I'm not going to pick sides, but you can vent all you want to me. And I think that was a very smart thing to do. Amy asked me to come over today to do a YouTube video. We haven't made a YouTube video in so long. I think the last time we did one, we made weird smelling candles. Yeah. Okay, I swear, these bitches say they're always making a YouTube video, yet I never see whatever video they make on the show on their YouTube channel. So this video is about them exploring their personal style. And Amy walks out in this pleather dress that makes Tammy's jaw drop. And then Amy's like, what do you think about my single mom badass look? And Tammy goes, it's just bad. It's just bad. And I laughed so hard. You guys, they are so effing funny. I need to do like a little edited compilation of them again because, oh, they're so funny. I love them. So what do you think about my single mom badass look? It's just bad. It's just bad. At least I don't look like a college core hole. <laughs> it's a brand new day and Tammy's sweeping up broken glass because Amanda's boys broke the window and didn't clean it up. She is struggling a lot mentally and emotionally. And when she struggles mentally and emotionally, her go-to is food. She is an emotional eater. She has a food addiction. And she's feeling so emotional, like even more so because she can't go to the thing that she goes to normally when she is feeling stressed. And oh God, I feel her so hard. I really, really do. Chris comes over to seal the window that the nephews broke and Tammy confides in him and she's like, I, I just don't know how to talk to Amanda about this because Amanda has been very on edge with me. Chris is like, come on, y'all. Y'all are sisters. Y'all can work things out. And it's like, really? Everybody meets at Amanda's house. Tammy does not want to be there because of all the tension that they have, but they got to meet up to figure out like a diet plan, a workout plan so that they can all meet their weight loss goals and get approved for skin loss surgery or skin removal surgery. Chris surprises everybody with a gym membership. I thought that was really nice. And then Amanda was like, okay, how about we do a friendly competition? And Amanda's like, nope, nope, I'm not doing a friendly competition. I don't want to be stressed out. I want to think do things at, at my own pace. And then Amanda, Missy, and Brittany think that Amy don't don't want to make it a competition because she doesn't want to be held accountable blah 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 so this quickly escalates and becomes an argument and amy's like i don't want to make it a competition and amanda's like stop yelling at me you're right next to me and you're yelling in my ear and then amy's getting heated so she gets up and leaves because she doesn't want to get into it like she did last season with amanda i'm not i'm not saying i'm not going to exercise i'm not saying i'm not going to put in the work i'm just saying i'm making a competition you sit right here in my ear and you are yelling. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave. How about that? After Amy leaves, Tammy tries to echo Amy's sentiment by saying, I understand how Amy feels. Then Amanda makes this, ugh, look. And then Tammy goes, what was that look for? And Amanda goes, you better not give me an attitude in my house. I kind of understand where Amy is coming from. My step, why are you giving me that look? This is my house. When I come to your house, I don't give you attitude. Don't do that. Shit. Don't do that. Tam Tam is trying so hard not to blow up. So then they start arguing and then Amanda goes, get out of my house. And then Tammy's like, yeah, I'm gonna go. This was what the I was talking about. Get out about. of my house. You damn straight, bitch. <laughs> and pack your out of your house too. You damn straight. Let it go. This ain't the you time. You got your nerve, no, bitch. Yeah. Let get it out go. of my house this and don't come not. back. So she actually is able to get up and go this time. Because remember before when they had the fight, she couldn't go anywhere. No, it's rude. You keep running your <laughs> Bitch, don't try me like that. How about you just shut up for Why don't one? you get out that <laughs> chair and mask? Everyone's yelling at each other. And as Tammy was leaving, she told Amanda to close her damn legs. And I'm like, where the heck did that come from? Misty tells Amanda to calm the F down, but she doesn't. So Misty gets up and leaves. And then Brittany's all alone with Amanda. Oh, did not expect so much family drama this season, especially so early on episode two. And I'm very surprised with Amanda being at the center of it. I expected Tammy and Amy to fight because they always do. <laughs> and we're used to that. But Wow, Amanda seems like she's going through something. What did you guys think of this episode? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.